Hi, and welcome to our next section where we will extract features from tweets. In this section, we will concentrate on analyzing text and derive numeric features from that unstructured content. That's what we call feature extraction, and that's part of your daily data science job. The structure of the tweet dataset we have is already well structured. We have many numeric fields and can derive numeric values from fields like date. However, we have to deal with the unstructured content content in the text field. You know the famous 140 characters. Now we move on to the first video of this section that extracts features from the raw text with the standard Spark API. To apply our algorithms, we need to convert the words into numerical features. We have to face here two issues with text, also named natural language processing. The first issue is the structure of sentences, which cannot be easily translated into structure features. Our second challenge is the dimension of our features we will face too. The number of potential different words is an order of the billions magnitude. In this video, we are going to take a look at basic techniques to manage with those two issues, with method to extract structured numerical features and to handle the large dimensionality of text data. The texts of our tweets are all different, and we need to find a way to convert those words into meaningful information for our machine learning algorithms. A full explanation of the techniques and reasons of the natural language processing area is beyond the scope of this video. But the basic idea is to create numerical feature vectors from words, so that two different sentences using the same words and meaning the same would result in vectors closed in space. We will first tokenize and remove stop words. Then we will apply methods like TFIDF, Convectorizer or Word to Vec. For now, we won't cover more advanced techniques such as stemming. The first step in all natural language processing pipeline is creating a bag of words. We first need to tokenize our text. This is easily done with a tokenizer shipped by Spark, which splits the text on each space and removes punctuation as non-alphabetical or numerical characters. You just have to specify the input and output columns. In our case, the text column will be converted to a words column. Now, each tweet has an array of words in the words column. We also save these words into a parquet file in the words partition for later reuse. The parquet partition has a very handy feature we didn't use so far. When you save your content in different partitions, you will be able to merge back the extracted feature into our original reference dataset, even if the schema differs. When we will read back the content, we will set the option Merge Schema to True. The idea is to store features in separate partitions and to load them on demand linking with the tweet ID. Now we want to remove the common words, such as articles and the or punctuation with the stop words remover available in Spark. We just have to reuse our words data frame and specify the input and output columns. If we inspect the words and the no stop words columns, you will be able to see the differences. We also save the result in the no stop words parquet partition. Now we have a cleaner word list for each tweet. We can apply a term frequency inverse document frequency or TF IDF. This is a way to create feature vectors from text. 
It will create two statistics for each tweet. The first one is a term frequency, which is the number of times the word occurs in that tweet. Then the inverse document frequency, IDF, which indicates how frequent that word occurs in all the given tweets. The multiplication of those two numbers for a word, so TF cross IDF, indicates us the relevance of that word for that specific tweet. We first need to use the hashing TF class, which will map each word to a number between 0 the number and the number of features we request with the hash modulo. Then we use the IDF object to, to create the inverse document frequencies and we multiply them with the term frequencies. It's time to save the TF IDF features into a new TF IDF parquet partition. The count vectorizer class can be used as an option to compute the vectors of term frequency. In this case, you just have to define the vocabulary size and create the IDF model with the created count vector. Finally, let's have a look at the word to vec vectorization technique, which is a two layer neural network you can train to construct words context. In this case, we have to fit a model and then call the transform method to create our feature vectors. With a word to vec model, we also have the option to request synonyms for a word. And yeah, let's not forget to save our features into a new partition. In this video, we have learned how to convert text content to numerical feature vectors with the standard Spark functionalities.